So yes, we are back so soon because I've had questions already about, you know, obviously we had the Ten of Swords, her thinking about walking away from, you know, the royal family, William, things along those lines. Let's just do a quick relationship reading between them, between them both and see if they can pull through this. Now I've heard before other people have been saying things like affairs and divorce. She's thinking about divorce and she's had a massive epiphany where was she... She was seriously thinking about walking away. William is coming in there to woo her and keep her by his side. I sense here, I hear. So let's just see if they can pull through here. I do hear defiant. She's defiant about something for sure when it comes to their relationship. Extremely defiant. Defiant, defiant. Not budging at all. Not budging at all. She's something she's very feel strongly about in their relationship. Okay, how does she feel about William right now? Oh, God, no. Oh, guys, these cards are not good. These are not good because he's just come up there because he is a water sign as well. Um, I think he's Cancer like me, but his energy is the King of Cups, which is somebody very um, intuitive, like Diana, very intuitive, giving, um, a lot of love for his community, um, a sensitive, very sensitive male. Now, when she looks about the energy around him, we are getting the similar cards to what I had before with this Eight of Cups, which means thinking of walking away. It's all too much. The Six of Swords is another thing. The, these, are, these are both turning their back on him, basically, right now. Okay, and he has come up here as the, the King of Cups there too. Uh, not committed completely to him right now. Not committed to the relationship right now with where she is in at this stage in her life of what she's going through. Um, let's see the sun. Let's see if they can get... Oh, guys, I keep getting... I keep getting the love triangle. The rumours or something that's gone on. The three of cups. It, it's a, another woman in the situation or has been. It's something she can't get over right now. You know, this has come up. I mean, it came up in the last reading. It's coming up now. There's something more to this situation, something more than meets the eye. Will it be enough? Will he be enough to get her back? The thing is, because she's not happy now with the actual being pushed into being, I'm hearing duty and protocol when she's not ready. That's one massive aspect that's causing extreme stress. The other extremely stressful thing is her relationship is getting hammered right now as well. And she's struggling. Can she pull this back? Can they pull this back? Can they pull this back? It's going to be messy. We have the energy of being colder towards him, even in the weeks ahead. It might play out on paper where they look like a couple, but they're not really good behind closed doors here. We have the chance to have a fresh new love with this Ace of Cups, means new love coming in again. But again, I'm hearing slander. It's almost like whenever they try to have a new start here, the lies and deceit are going to come back into haunt them. There's something coming in again. Now, I do wonder if they can overcome this. I feel there is going to be grief and sadness over what's gone on with them both and her illness. But overall, I hope this is right, guys. The Six of Wands is the victory card after a bloody hard battle. This is somebody that's gone to war. It could have been for years and he's victorious and he's coming back in and it's victory. So it means even though things are extremely difficult, they should pull through. They should pull through. I'm hearing for monarchy and for country. So I feel if they do, it would be for duty because it's almost like... I do think at the same time, as, as much as she thinks it's duty to a country, she all, all, almost questions the country as well because the conspiracy rumours, the slander, the amount of crap she gets anyway. She's thinking, do I want to do this? She ju does genuinely want to make a change and do good. She does. She does. I'm hearing the appeal. She knows the appeal she has. She knows who she is as a person can change things. But a bit like Diana... I do feel she wonders she would still have that appeal if they were separated. So I'm just hoping they can pull through this. But this is the balance. It's going to be rocky. It's not going to be easy. It still won't be easy going. I'm hearing make a pact as well. So it's almost like they agreed to maybe give it a go. Um, for du Again, I keep hearing duty. Eight of Wands energy. Oh, thank God for that. Now, at the very end of this, I've got goosebumps as well. 
The Eight of Wands does mean faster positive movement going forward and the Four of Swords is healing. So I really hope they can pull through with the Six of Wands energy. It's going to be tricky. Again, I feel if they stay together right now, it is going to be because I'm hearing duty calls, duty calls. Now, she does know she could go it alone. I'm also hearing the fall of the monarchy. I mean, if they divorced, it literally the power of the monarchy would be annihilated in some ways because when Harry left and then it's not how we feel as UK British citizens. If you're a royalist, for example, you're going to love the monarchy. But other countries, other people, politicians, other people looking in see it differently, like it's falling apart. The royal fa family's falling apart. I'm hearing man down, man down. Now, obviously, that's King Charles. It's almost like war, man down, Kate's down. If there was anyone else or it split apart anymore, I'm hearing fractured. I'm seeing a diamond, which is really strong and multifaceted, but there's a crack in it. You can't really see it's it's damaged that it's flawed it's like this is how we're starting to be perce perceived with everything that's gone on we're flawed you know also if the monarchy does start to fall apart i do feel it will make it, it will have something to do with investors now i know tourism gives us millions and millions a year with tourism when it comes to the royal family but there's something to do with investments as well linked to this if it fell apart or if if it was tainted even more than what it already is. So I do feel, like I said, I'm hearing of the word pact, that if they stuck it out, it would be, I'm hearing for king and country, it's highly likely it would be Charles doing it for Charles, you know, and holding, holding out for a few years. But those energies have come in very strongly there, that she's she is not in a good way with not just... You know her duties and what she has to do but especially him and again we still get this love triangle which I'm, i keep getting surprised at every time i see this it's like she, they try and move on but it it keeps coming back to haunt her no idea where i get this i just got great expectations who is the woman that stayed in the wedding dress and was just stayed at the table like that for years i don't know why they're showing me that i can't work out what the hell they're talking about there because they aren't married no idea what that is a haunting a haunting what the hell anyway i'm not going to focus on that and go down a rabbit hole william how do you feel do you feel you can get do you feel you can get kate back do you i keep hearing pact it's like they would shake hands and do a pact if they stayed together they would, they would be doing it again i keep hearing for king and country over romance duty calls call of duty i think that's a playstation game that i played before <laughs> but it would be more about duty then their romance, the bigger picture for the country. I keep hearing for king and country for duty if they stay together. So they may stay together, but it's not going to be happy on the surface, which is a massive spin on everything recently. Let's see. William. William, how do you feel? How do you feel about this? He is trying to work. I mean, heartbroken, sadness. He's torn. He's confused. He's stuck. I do feel he had, I'm hearing interference and I do feel, do you know what? I don't feel this is Kate here, this other woman coming up as the King of Wands energy and it's an ex, somebody from his past. And I keep hearing haunting some, this is weird, right? But there's something to do with great expectations. This woman at the table in a wedding dress, maybe it's somebody, this sounds random, that wanted to marry him, but didn't marry him and married someone else. And she's still mourning their connection in a way. And in a way he felt a closer connection to her than he does Kate. But Kate is the right person for him and for the royal family and for the duty that they need to do. I'm not saying he doesn't love Kate, but there's a haunting. There's someone haunting him from his past here that keeps coming up, a third party. And I feel she's married to someone else now, but it's still there. There's something still there in that connection. You know, and there's heartache and sadness here over this as well. But he, William does want a new chapter. He wants a new beginning. But, oh, no. I don't want to keep seeing this Ten of Swords endings again. Oh, guys, this is... Um, it's going to be bloody difficult, I'll tell you that now. It's not going to be easy to hold these two together right now. A painful decision needs to be made. The Six of Swords, again, this is energy moving away from the family unit. It, it's a lot going on. I feel this is deeper than he just had a fling or, you know, or he likes somebody. I feel he still holds a torch for somebody or somebody's connected to his past and they have limited contact now, but it's still made a massive effect on the relationship. 
Um, let's see one final card for the outcome. I might need to pick another one if it doesn't make sense, because this is even throwing me, I'll be honest. Final card for the outcome. The balance is still going to be on and off. It's like they're going to stick it out by the looks of it, because this means on and off. It's not a definite yes or no. It's in the middle, kind of balancing. Good days, bad days. And again, remember what I said about he is trying to win her back with the reading we just did with this Page of Cups energy coming in with romance saying he cares for her. That is the energy there. The balance is going to be off. Focus is on her, thank God. The focus now is on her really trying to put everything into it to save the monarchy, I'm hearing. Deadly serious, save the monarchy. So I feel he is trying to, I'm hearing placate her. I'm hearing the word placate her as well. And the Ace of Wands to show that he's still attracted to her, that she's beautiful. So he is actually trying to put the work in. I do feel he's haunted by somebody. It's not even like he thinks of them all the time. It's like they come back in for some reason because they have the same social circles or links or something that keeps being dragged up. And I'm really happy. Let's just see. I hope that's not because I was mentioning that person and that came up. The Two of Cups does mean working in partnership to actually work together. To They work better together as a partnership. She could go it alone and become like a Princess Diana kind of figure. He could do his job by himself, but together they will do a greater good for the country. There's a payoff, there's a harvest card. They work together well as a team, you know, and obviously the kids as well. The kids as well. But I keep hearing right now he's trying to placate, placate her. I feel he's had to take a softer tone with her when it comes to, you know, when when we be back and ready. And there's it, it's a lot going on there. But yeah, I mean, just to do that reading again, see this third person still hovering around and her questioning the valid, validity, I could ever say it, <laughs> of the relationship. And again, her seriously thinking about walking away. Let's just hope they can pull through. I feel they will for, for king and country. I keep bloody hearing it for king and country. Let's hope they can pull through this. I don't feel she's ready to make any happy couple displays right now. That's another thing as well. You know, she doesn't feel like that. So let's just hope um, they can pull through. Can they pull through? It's given me vibes of, um, you know, Charlene of Monaco. Um, Prince Albert, oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry. You know, Charlene of Monaco, and I think it is Albert, that they are together, but they're not really. You know, they're seen together, and he had rumours he had an affair, and things along those lines, but they're still together. They have a pact for their family. They're keeping things running, but they're not really coupley, coupley. We might get that energy, I feel, for a, for a while. So, and I'm hearing that's better than nothing. Whew, wow. Let's see. That's not what I really thought, to be fair. The last couple of readings have been quite, um, you know, let's let's hope William can uh, pull something out. I'm hearing him pull something out of the bag, so I bloody hope he can. I really hope he can. All right. Bye, guys.